Hello guys, in the previous video I showed you how you can mass create hexagon, a hexagon grid and use it to cut a box. And now I'll show you how you can, I'll give you a few tips guys, how you can massively fill out objects, if you so choose. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content guys, it's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. Um, if you guys have any tips for how you can massively fill it a lot of things at once, please let me know in the, in the comments. But here's what I figured out. So if I just go ahead and select the edges and just mass select everything and I press D for fill it, you can see it doesn't really work. So here's the way you can do it faster. So I'll select this object here. Also, one thing to know guys is if you, if you switch the edge selection mode and you select this and you press D for example, it will not be confused by all like the non fillable edges. What I mean by that is like this edge, we can fill it, but this edge right here, it, it's there to hold the surface. It's there to represent the surface. It's not really there to fill it. So if I select this and fill it, um, it doesn't really work, right? This one, this one, and these, these ones are filleting, right? But one interesting thing about plasticity is that even if I select all the edges here and I just press D to fill it, um, it doesn't really, you know, you don't have to worry about selecting all the right ones, right? You just get that. All right, and let's go ahead and have a smaller fill amount, not too much here. All right, let's go ahead and redo it real quick. All right, let's select that. All right, now I'll go ahead and select these two and isolate that. So here's what I do, guys. I'll select this and I'll press Control 2 to convert that to the edges. And I'll press D to fill it that. All right, now... To get the same result as the other one, all I have to do, guys, is click on the surface here, and it will, it will match up. It will match up the fillet distance right here. So, guys, in order to get this uh, process going faster, now the only reason it looks like this, guys, is because this is on the curve, so it will give you a different result than if it's just on a flat surface. So, what I'll do, guys, is I'll select, let's say, three at a time. I'll press Control U to convert to the edges. I'll fillet that. And now click on this one to match up that size. And there you go, guys. And just like that, guys, you can kind of make the process go by faster. So control two to convert. D to start the filler process. Click on the previous one right here to match it up. And there, there you go, guys. Just like that, you can kind of uh, have a faster time filling. Alright guys, thank you for watching and take care.